Hey students, welcome back. This week one of your assignments is to create ASCII art. ASCII uh, is a text format used on computers um, in plain text documents. And as many of you know, you can use all the characters on your keyboard combined in certain ways to create cool looking art. Let's take a look real quick here. I've shown one in the sample here. Uh, this is a picture of a little cat. It's kind of cute. And as you can see, the cat image is made up simply of combining in in various rows. Uh, here we have about nine rows of different characters. And uh, I'm going to show you real quick how to make that. If you're not quite sure how to get started, I'm actually going to draw this cat, but I'm going to draw it the other way around, kind of a mirror image of it. And um, before we do that, I'm going to show you the finished product uh, that I have here. So let's open up the shell here so you can see this run. Here we go. All right, so now you see my little cat by Ms. De Bruin, and we can see I have a series of rows of characters. On the very first row, all there is is at the far right, there's just an underscore. Then on the next line, far right, there's a forward slash and a parentheses. Next row, two opening parentheses, etc. Then you got an A dot dash dot A space, etc. on the next line. So as you go through this, you just build the image one line at a time using the uh, various characters on your keyboard. And then when they're viewed all together, when you print it from your Python program, uh, all the lines combined, then you get this kind of cool little image. The requirement for your ASCII art is that it includes at least 10 lines of characters. So when I say that, I mean the lines I'm counting here, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4. This one has about 11 or 12 lines. Um, I, it needs to include at least three escape characters. Okay, and we'll talk a little bit more about what we mean by that in a second. So let's get started uh, building our ASCII art cat here. I'm going to open up a brand new blank document. Okay. Uh, as usual, I like you to always start with a comment at the top. And this time around and from now on, I'd like you to include your name in your comment so that we know who did the work. Okay. And then again, um, ASCII art is just um, a series of print function command lines, um, statements. And so, for example, if I want to do that first line, uh, I believe, I think I said it was 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I think I had about 21 uh, spaces. Then I had an underscore. Okay, And then I have to close my quote, my single quote, close my parentheses, and go to the next line. Okay, And on the next one, again, opening single quote. And then I need to just put all of the characters and um, I'm going to cheat a little bit because I've already created mine in a different file. And we see I go out a number of spaces, then I have a forward slash and a parentheses. Now that parentheses is not the ending parentheses of my print function uh, because I haven't closed my quote yet. So you see it's still green. So I, now I put my closing quote and now that ends the string and now I can put my parentheses and go to the next line. So again, if it's part of a string surrounded by single quotes, it's going to be the color green. But if it's outside that, um, and it's just the parentheses here, you can see it's black. So you can tell kind of by the color coding inside Python whether or not something is a string or not. Okay, so I'm going to the next line. And on that one, I had a series of spaces and then two opening parentheses, something like this. Okay, and then I've got to close my single quote and close my parentheses, go to the next line, etc. You can kind of get the idea. Okay, now I only want to show you here on the next line uh, or two, I want to show you uh, where you need to also consider what are called escape characters. Uh, escape characters are when you want to print a particular character on your keyboard, but that character cannot be printed because it has a special meaning. Uh, single quotes, double quotes have a special meaning because they can either open or close a string. Backward slashes have a special meaning. Uh, a backslash and an N combination has a special meaning and a backslash T 
has a special meaning. If you don't know what those meanings are, go back and look at the previous lesson because we talked about that. Okay, but here, let's take a look right here at this line. We see here a set of double quotes right in the middle. Now you might be wondering, how can I put double quotes inside a quote? Won't that mess up where the beginning and the ending of the string are? In this case, no, um, because we started our string with single quotes and we ended it with a single quote. And so it ignores double quotes. It doesn't see them as the beginning and the end of the string because we didn't start the string with a single quote. Does that make sense? So you can use those without escaping them in this particular instance. All right, we'll go to our next line. Okay, open that up. Now this one, this particular line of my cat does contain some special characters that need to be escaped. And let's look at those real quick. What we have here is right here um, in the cat uh, picture, we have a backslash. Let's go back and look at the or original um, drawing here. We can see uh, to the right side of the cat's head right here, we have a backslash. And we have another one here. Um, and if I want to print those out, I have to escape those characters because, again, those characters have special meaning. So what I have to do in order to get this backslash to print, I have to put another backslash in front of it. That basically tells the computer, whichever character comes next, go ahead and print that out or, or, or use its um, uh, special meaning. And so in this case, I can go ahead and put that and then put the backslash. And you see here was another one in mine, and so I had to back, I had to escape character that as well. So wherever you want to use a backslash in your drawing, you have to put a, another backslash in front of it. Okay, and then I'll close this and close that. Okay, now let's just go ahead and save this, and um, I'm going to call this Cat Two. Okay, now let's just go ahead and run it. Now we can see, so far so good. I've got the first um, about six lines of my cat being drawn out. I'm not quite done yet, but as you go along, you can test it to see if what you're seeing in the screen is what you really want. I'm going to pause the video and come back and show you my finished product here in the code. Okay, students, welcome back. I've now finished my cat drawing uh, as ASCII art in Python. So now you can see I have at least 10 lines. I think I actually have 11 or 12 lines of code here that make up my drawing. I've escaped, used escape characters uh, at least three times. So here you can see I escaped some single quotes because I was using single quotes inside a string that started with a single quote. You can see I escaped backslashes a whole bunch of different times where I needed to. On this particular line I had to do it three times in a row. So I used lots of escape characters in order to print out the characters that I wanted. Okay, And if I take this particular one and I hit F5, you can see now this is what my cat looks like in its final drawing. Okay, So that's what you're required to do this week as your main project. You, can, you are required to complete at least two ASCII art programs, uh, two different images. And if you want to, you can complete up to five different ones that you can turn in. Okay. Uh, all right, have fun with this project. It's a lot of fun.